I do have the uh, divergence indicator too here. I was doing some back testing and, and I'll be honest with you, it's, it's pretty damn accurate that you would have like right here, I was looking at this when it's happening, right? So when it, the signal happened, the market was at the level from the indicator, right? So that was a really, really beautiful trade right here. And and so this this are the times these are these are like a nice good example where we can help us right so the, where the market is here and we don't know if it's gonna keep you know going up ripping through the uh, upside and then the indicator gives us a signal right here so yeah guys so uh, I do have again I have of course the the trigger indicator I I added. Um, previous days so you guys can see so right now the market is is trying to get into a uh, today's uh, support right so we, we're gonna have we, we can have opportunities if we see something there so now with the divergence here this is what I will I would this is the only signal that I would be looking into right every time I go into the levels right um, and if it gives me something like this, where it gives me a signal, it just gives me a little bit more confidence. Now, again, it's still an indicator, it's still not going to be hundred percent, but we're at a level where, you know, if we're thinking, you know, we're, we're at, at the high of the day and it's giving us a signal and we're at the, at the, uh, support becomes resistance, then, you know, it just makes more, more sense to take that, that trade, right? Then if right here in the middle is just giving us all kinds of signals and, you know, we're just over trading and. Maybe not, not uh, the best way to, to take advantage of the indicator. So again, if all you would have done is just wait all this time, right? Because the market was in between. And as soon as he gets to you, right? Boom, you had that one signal, the, you had that one trade and that's it, right? You're done. So that's basically what what we're if, looking if for today. If today we are going to be buyers, then, then I, I want the market to come down here. And as it starts coming back up, right? And breaks. And then they retest and then I get this signal, right? When it's doing that, then it's like, okay, now it's this time to to get into this and, and then buy it. Right. So that's basically what I the way I would I would look at it if I'm gonna be a, a buyer today. But you guys see this, right? You got the signal, you got this, and then if you would have just jumped on it, yeah, it, it moved a little bit, right? You would have made a little bit. See, look at that, right? Now it's getting another signal. And it's and it's this this will be a better signal than the previous one, right? So at this point, at this time, because right here, because it's on the level. Excuse me. Because it's on the level. Yeah, it's on the level exactly. Yeah. All right. So again, we got another signal, right? An indicator. We see the is respecting that signal. Starts moving up. So I want to see if that candle closes above and then maybe he's going to make a retest and then it will give us something similar. So it did close above. Let me see guys here. If I take, take advantage of this. So ES is up there. So I'm going to put my entry. Still going to be up there. See, I don't, I don't like to hold entries if I don't miss it in the first candle. The, the next candle might come back and get me. I like, I got a signal to go short, so I'm just gonna put it at break even. When this signal came here, that's why, that's why I took that next trade, right? Because I was waiting for the market to break above and then retest, which is the one that I took. It still made another pullback of course because I was in the trade and then now that I'm out off the trade now it takes off right but the 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 indicator was telling you that hey you know this could be a good chance that the market is going to start reversing just heads up right and that's what it did same thing here when it's generated it's just giving you like a heads up hey you know this could be a pullback and if you guys see something you like right at this point you know that you can just take profit at that at that at that level so the levels, guys, will always still be, you know, good for entries and exits, right? So if you decide to take any of these, 
you just know that that could be your you, you take profit. It just depends again on the style of your style of trading. Um, the one minute divergence indicator that you put on your screen is very helpful. Thanks. You're up. Yeah. Again, Amy, you killed it today. All right. So let's see, guys. So it, both of them came back to the support. They're both getting rejected. Of course, NQ made a, a big, nasty pullback. And now it's coming back up. But see, this is what I'm saying, guys. It the market, the market makes moves, and then you, when when you miss this trades here, if you're patient enough, it'll it'll come back, right? It'll it'll give you it'll give you a other opportunity if you're patient enough. There are many you, wonderful signals. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. No, I, I I've been seeing them. Like, yeah, I know. Like just today, if you were just taking all of these, maybe the only one that you would have probably missed was this. But other than that, any other signal? I mean, at least makes move it moves what enough for you to make money. I mean, this one just killed it. I think that's the one that Amy took. Doc, if you want to chime in and explain your your baby, your product. Yeah, the divergence is about the relationship between the price and the direction of an indicator, and yeah. Uh, it supports several indicators. MACD is one of them, which is very popular. And the RSI is another one. So it looks when there's a big slope between two points on time related to the price and the indicator. Yeah, I appreciate it. I was looking just the way it was mapping on the main chart versus the like the RSI chart down there on the bottom. I was kind of looking at the, the way it was plotting yeah and i and i have it under the uh macd setting so you could you have here you can change it to all of these right here stochastics rsi so you can you the can rsi basically... works wonderful as well so if i yeah. switch Sorry. to the rsi then it's, it's showing us an rsi you know 